to have good friends are there any tips that you can offer so that we can follow pass on to others thank you asha uh, for this question yes um, certainly it is important to have good friends having uh, good friends results in psychological as well as physiological benefits uh, there are research findings that indicate non toxic and good supportive friendship boosts one's immunity and increases longevity uh, as said before tandai uh, periyar and kalina karunanidhi can be said as examples on uh, physiological benefit level since both of them lived long amidst hectic and stressful political and social pressures the other uh, psychological benefit benefit yes uh, good friendship helps to develop inner emotional resilience and build an internal resolve or determination to succeed especially at the face of hardships failures and difficulties i think we can say um amma jalida and chinamma sasikalas good examples of this since both of them uh, did not give up on each other when uh, going through predominantly male dominated social and political scenario in tamil nadu politics good friendship does boost one's self esteem self confidence aiding social development and overall growth i think uh, fidel castro and che guevara could be said as good examples of this Uh, there are research findings that tell us that the increase in suicide rates are mainly due to lack of good friendship or because of bad friendships now asha as you have asked how to have a good friends a good friends particularly when the social media platform providers with the limitless contacts sometimes it's very hard to believe and not to believe people neuropsychology would say most of the time hate unites people quicker than love or friendship this happens among people who have very low level of psychological knowledge or awareness which we find very common among us tamils both in tamil nadu as well as uh, in overseas um, that's why any bad or aggressive content become viral in the social media not the good content in fact i have written a topic on hate and why do people hate and what might be the scientific and psychological reasons in the in my recent book nammal vil ulaviyal bagam irandu that is uh, for another time for more discussion it is easy to get bad friends but hard to have good friends again it's not impossible task if we really put our heart and mind into it with openness and a little bit of psychological awareness and knowledge we do not get people who are perfect in every way as friends i know some of my friends have uh, some limitations probably they might find me as well with uh, some limitations or weaknesses but they are not uh, toxic and so we can actually tolerate and find a uh, common grounds to exist uh, uh, peacefully a good friendship a good friendship is that which is a healthy not breeding hate or malicious gossip and it promotes overall well-being not only for those in friendship but also others who are around I remember in one of the YouTube videos the present finance minister of Tamil Nadu Mr PTR Palanivel Dhyagarajan said something like we want to attend and to participate in muslim or uh, christian celebrations just to confirm that you do not need to feel inferior or you are uh, out of the mainstream of the society just because you are a minority that is i think is a perfect example of uh, um, how good friendship brings uh, overall goodness and happiness sometimes we find when some people get together as friends the people around them become very nervous and unhappy uh, this might be that the friendship is to cause harm to others but in fact they cause damage to themselves as well as to others eventually i have suggested in my book some tips choosing friends maybe i could share some of them now number 1 see if they carry around themselves positive vibrations because remember i have said before hate unites people with low psychological awareness quickly i know and i have been around some friends in the past they always used to engage in malicious gossip talk ill of others actually i could not get out of them for some reason i just continued until i realized how damaging that Uh, had been on an uh, emotional level and it took away my independent thinking and doings it's better to check every now and then if our friendship is helping us or causing us damage 
This can only be done when we have at least a minimum uh, psychological thinking and awareness. Number two, along with vibrations, look out for what unites you with your friends or what friends use to unite with yourself. It has to be healthy on uh, both the physical as well as the psychological levels. Look out for healthy common interests and growth. Anything that is making you and your family sick and unwell need to be addressed carefully and uh, the corrective actions need to be undertaken. Third one, uh, I suppose, would be start to look out into yourself as well as into your uh, friendship. This means the mode of viewing and thinking. Sometimes people have this sort of black and white thinking, like all the people from this area uh, or from this caste or from this religion uh, are bad or just the opposite. Uh, this is what a period used to be angry with. People who have this sort of thinking are considered to be psychologically ill people. The opposite is called holistic thinking, which involves the use of rational thinking questioning, uh, scrutinizing, and this is what a Periyar was after. Unfortunately, many of us cage Periyar more into his atheistic stand than the much bigger social um, transformation he envisaged. True or good friendship should be focused on holistic thinking rather than black and white thinking for its healthy and peaceful survival. Number four, such a friendship will survive or people will stick to each other no matter what happens to them. They do not change sides for selfishness or their self-survival only. A final word on that is to encourage people to spend some time in choosing friends. I would say if you want to have a good friend in life and lead a healthy and happy life, uh, please do take some time before studying psychology. Uh, after listening to uh, this uh, seminar, Please try to learn Tamil and read and listen to Periyar's speech. They are full of wisdom. Have a thick skin for his views on religion. Again, if you know the context why he spoke against religion and gods, you will sympathize with the Periyar. He was against the oppressive and dehumanizing God and religious ideology only, not against God or any uh, religions for uh, their very existence. Because as said before, we get plenty of contacts through lots of social media, but if we can't make all of them friends, of course, some do then get into problems and things become quite bad and weird. We need to question ourselves why we like this person. What attracts me to this person? Is there anything that is common that can help this person and myself to grow, to be happy? Can I trust this person? Is it just infatuation that I like this person or that person likes me? Or is he or she is a, uh, is he or he a good person? How can I know if the person is good or bad, although this person claims to be good? So uh, if you can address these questions towards yourself and then think before choosing a friend, uh, then I suppose you will find a good friend. Thank you. Nandri.